Hey, hey, Easters, and welcome to episode 77 of the Ask Rez Show. I'm your host, Jason Orez, and I'm here to help you by answering your questions to building a profitable freelance business. And if you're on Breaker, it's a great little app to listen to your podcasts on and share with your friends and family and colleagues um, podcasts that you find valuable. So if you're over there, go ahead, leave, hit the subscribe button or leave me a heart or comment on today's episode. So today's question, do you bill for meetings is a question I get asked a lot of you from a lot of you who are still full time and thinking about going freelance. So my answer to this is a resounding yes, without a doubt, you charge for meetings. Now, that doesn't mean that I charge for sales calls, right? That's a bit different, obviously. But if you have several sales calls and still can't figure out what that scope of work is for the project, then that should turn into a paid discovery, which is a call that gets charged for, right? That's a meeting. During the course of a project, though, you will have maybe face-to-face meetings, calls, video chats, maybe even a visit to your client's office. These are all times where you're spent working on the working for the client on that project. So just as you would charge for code or designs or writing blog posts or sales copy, so too you should charge for meetings. I think there's always this struggle or dilemma inside of you for charging for meetings because, well, there's nothing substantial or nothing significant to hand over to the client as a deliverable. But I'm here to tell you that's completely wrong. During the call, you're providing your time, experience, and expertise to answer any questions and or scope out work. Otherwise, there would be no point for you to be on the call, right? That's the time that's requested by your client for you to be a part of that meeting, especially if they feel it's necessary. It could be about your project directly, right? The meeting itself, or it could maybe turn into a future project, or hey, it could be totally unrelated to anything you were working on with them at the time, but they wanna pick your brain. This is where you start to become a consultant rather than just a doer. This is the best thing you can charge for because you are becoming that expert that they respect. They respect the value that you provide to their business and then you can start charging for that time. Now, how you charge for this can vary. I'm of the mindset not to exchange time for money. So I often work meetings into the price of the solution and then charge something extra if there's an extra need. But I understand that you may be charging hourly right now. So charge your hourly rate without a doubt at a bare minimum. If you have to travel to the meeting, then charge from the time you start getting prepared at home to go to the meeting. Remember, all of this is time that has been requested by the client of you. When they ask you for something, tell them outright that you need to bill them for it. Sometimes they will expect it, other times they won't. So you wanna be clear and open about it upfront. Full-timers look at meetings as maybe a free hour to stop doing work or maybe socialize. But as a freelancer or as a consultant, you should look at meetings just like you look at any other billable time. In fact, you should look at meetings as even more valuable because you are getting the opportunity to learn more about the pains of your client, learn more about their business, and take notes on those things to become even more of an asset to them. If you aren't charging for your time on calls, meetings, or traveling to a client office, then start now. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me by dropping me a tweet an email, or go ahead and leave a comment in iTunes with your question, and I will be happy to answer it for you. Until next time, 
It's your time to live in the feast. <laughs>